Hello, hi guys, it's Inam here with Pressy, the almighty Android button here. I saw this initially on, on Box Therapy's channel and it certainly looked very handy, certainly for me as I tend to use gloves while I'm working and to operate certain phone functions, I'm making a meal out of this completely. Um, I can't sometimes operate them when I'm wearing gloves. So, if I can pull this out even, this is Pressy. As you can see here, it's a little keychain that they've supplied, which is pretty cool. The Pressy logo, Pressy on the other side, and this is Pressy itself. A little button that you can set to do pretty much whatever you want to do. I went for the red option, but kind of, as you can see, it kind of looks kind of pinkish. So, yeah, I've got a pink Pressy. So we'll leave that to one side here, move this out of the way. I think there are some instructions inside, so I'm just going to rip this open because it's uh, it's not very... It's sellotaped up pretty tight, to be fair. So, yeah, made a proper meal out of this. So here we go. You can see, if I turn that the right way around, it gives you a QR code to scan. You can launch the Pressy app and then use the app to pair up the device using the QR code. So here we go, we've got Pressy on the Play Store here. I'm just gonna hit install. Obviously I'm installing this on my Galaxy S7 Edge here. Now you need to have an Android powered device for this thing to work. Obviously it's called the Mighty Android button. Kind of gives it away in the name there. So here we go, the activation is successful. I'm gonna insert Pressy, trying very hard not to actually press the button itself. It's very tiny indeed. But hopefully you can see this pink, I'm gonna say, Pressy button. You can see it's very, very minimalistic here. It doesn't pop out at all. I haven't actually pulled it or pushed it all the way in, but that's it all the way in. Very minimalistic indeed. And it's saying on the screen, is that Pressy or is it a headphones or what is it? I'm gonna say it's Pressy. So practice clicking, it says short press one time. So two times, there we go, and three times. There we go. So that's done, let's go. And it's gonna give us a quick little tutorial here. So we'll add one, uh, add a flashlight. How did it know that's what I wanted it for? So there we go, action, yay. Choose a trigger, we'll do uh, just as it wants to do, a single press. I think I'm gonna change this later on to a, a double press because when I put stuff in my pocket, I tend to put it down, face down, so the bottom is facing up. And I think I'm gonna hit my finger on this while pushing it in so i might change that to a double tap a little bit later on so one short press uh is that it can i do i need to press the button uh trigger not in use yet because we haven't actually done that tap here and you're done so yeah that's a flashlight set on a single press so if i press this now once like so uh you can see there's the flashlight press it again and the flashlight does go away. There is a ever so second gap from when you press the button to the light appearing. So here we go. If I press it, notice a little gap. But it's ever so slight. And for what I'm gonna be using it for is essentially the flashlight, because when I'm working, I'm wearing gloves um, and renovating a house. So this uh, isn't always uh, ideal to swipe in, go all the way across and press torch and it's kind of fiddly when you're wearing gloves. This will be a lot easier by just pressing a simple button. If we come out of this and whoops, and we've got additional functions that we can do here. If I go to plus, you can see you can set it to make calls or start the dialer, even message, camera, video recorder, and uh, the flashlight that we've just set up, run a particular application or uh, run a media application here as well. And you can see you've got the, the settings dashboard that you can customize the name of as well if you want. Um, launching the apps themselves or toggle Wi-Fi. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can actually do from this. So it's very cool indeed. I know uh, Lou said that within YouTube, when you press the button, it pauses the video. But essentially all this is doing is um, if we do, let's have a look at this one. So we'll put down the volume a second. When you press the button, it pauses the video.
press the button again. It pauses the video. It, now this is because the phone thinks you've got headphones plugged in. So if I get some headphones here, there we go. And it's now asking, is it pressy or is it something else? We'll say it's headphones. Now, if you press the button on the headphone in line, that's the video starts playing. If you press, press the button again, video stops playing. Same again. So the reason why Pressy pauses the video when you've got this plugged in is because the phone thinks you've got headphones plugged in and you're pressing the button on the inline controls. But it's it's no big issue really because the sound once you've got this plugged in is coming through the speakers of your device. You just need to be careful not to actually press the button when you've got YouTube or any media type of application open. If you're watching the video, then chances are you're going to be careful because you've either got it in landscape mode or something like that. But that's the reason why it pauses media applications when you press the button because the phone thinks you've got headphones plugged in. But that's been a look at Pressy and have a look at the cool little keychain here. Now this does actually look red, unlike the pinkish color of the Pressy button itself. Give you little keychains to put it on any keys that you may have and Pressy goes in there and you can hook in your headphones via this slight little recess here. Very cool attention to detail here by Pressy. Yeah, and as ever, links will be down in the description box below if you're after one, as well as any other questions you might have, put them up down in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe and tag along on social media at Inam Thanks for watching, have a wicked day and I'll see you next time.